to fix 0xc8007057 go to start and type cmd right click here and run as administrator don't skip any steps these all commands are very important now type net space stop space wuausercv and hit enter okay so now type net space stop space crypt svc and then press enter okay now type net space stop space bits and hit enter once you've done this you have to type net space stop space m s i s e r v e r then press enter then type net space stop space a p p i d s v c then press enter now type r e n space c colon slash windows slash s o f t w a r e d i s t r i b u t i o n space software distribution dot o l d now type r e n space c colon slash windows slash system 32 slash c a t r double o t Two space c a t r o o t two dot o l d and hit enter. Here type s t a r t space w u a u s c -E r v. and hit enter then type net space start space c r y p t s v c and hit enter then type net space start space b i t s and hit enter now type net space s t a r t space m s i s e r v e r and hit enter now type n e t space s t a r t space a p p i d s v c and then type exit and hit enter after closing command prompt go to start and type powershell now right click on it and run as administrator now type here wuauclt.exe space slash U P D A T E N O W that is update now. Then hit enter and exit and hit enter. Now at the last step, go to start and type recovery options. Okay, click here to open it. Now click on restart now on this blue screen click on troubleshoot then advanced option 
and then startup settings now click on restart and press F4 on your keyboard wait for some time once you are in the safe zone then open any file explorer then open C drive open windows folder and then open software distribution select all files and delete them that's it guys close all windows go to start and restart your computer this will solve your problem